Welcome to the Chill Spot. I'm Corinne. I'm Dane. Welcome back again. I'm here again. I don't here know where Lori went. I guess she's back in Michigan. Per- apparently. Yeah. Yeah, she just, <laughs> I'm off to Michigan. Yeah. Well, today um, we're going to talk about the different awarenesses that's out there. Um, things to be aware of. Yeah, things yes. to be aware of. Um, there's a lot of different organizations that make it, that's making you aware of your health. Um October is a very busy month. It is. It is. It is. Know. It's like more busier than the holidays coming up. Yeah, you got October, you have the awareness stuff, and then you have the holidays coming up right after that. You know, you have Thanksgiving and yeah. Christmas, Hanukkah, all that good so stuff. So today, um, the first thing we're going to talk about is breast cancer. Yep. Uh, breast cancer. I mean, October has been the breast cancer awareness for forever. quite some time. Mm-hmm. And speaking of awareness, just real quick, I don't know if you guys watch like the NFL or anything like that. But before, for like the entire month of October, they would wear like pink cleats and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. Well, they've recently changed it some to make it cancer awareness overall. Mm-hmm. So you would see, so I don't know if you watch NFL or a spouse watches NFL or something like that, but you'll notice for the next month, there'll be commercials that are called Crucial Catch. Okay. And they'll have, they, they have like different style of the, their gloves and cleats mm-hmm. and stuff like that towels that go on their waist and stuff like that so, that's good yeah it's a big big month for awareness right now yeah. and nfl is um, included so please do your self examinations because uh men and women are at risk for breast cancer did you know that well and men i don't know if a lot of people know that but mm-hmm. men are also Men can also get breast cancer. I mean, it's 1%. About 1 in 1,000 men get it, but men can get it. I've never personally yeah. met a man that had breast cancer, but uh, it is possible. It is yeah, possible. For it me is. Um, the clinical examination everywhere for a male mm-hmm. starts at the age of 35. At the age of 35? At 35. Okay. So I'm 31, so i got another four years to go four before years. I have to get my boobies checked. Yep. Save the boobies. Save the boobies. That's <laughs> right. That's right. More power to the boobies. <laughs> So for a woman, um, the best time is three to five days after your period starts. I haven't gotten mine yet, so no. Nope. So be okay. you're good on I, that. I don't. I don't have to do it yet. So <laughs> I haven't gotten that yet either. So you want to do this monthly, starting at the age of twenty. Your clinic clinical examination. I'm going to have to read this, or I won't mess it up. Every six months and ten years before the age in which the youngest family member was diagnosed with breast cancer. So if you are at the age of 20 Uh and your mother or an aunt or sister was diagnosed with breast cancer, say at the age of 50 Uh and you want to go 10 years. So if you're age of 20, Uh you don't want to go at the age of 10, but you want to start, you know, when you hit your puberty and all mm. that, you want to be paying close attention. So, and then w- what you meant by clinical, that is going in and getting the mammogram. Right? Yes, mammogram okay. and actually having um, a licensed physician examine your okay. breast. You can do a home examination in the shower, but then if you find anything, you also want to follow up with your with your physician. Yeah, that's scary. I have several family members that have mm-hmm. um, suffered. I, luckily, I haven't lost anybody yeah. uh, through breast cancer. We but, have yeah. um, a few members, um, NACA members, that have had um, to deal with breast cancer. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. Absolutely. It's scary. I mean, I... Um, my, what one my aunt had it and had it bad and she just, she kept getting it and kept getting it and kept getting it and mm-hmm. wouldn't started in one and went to the other and um yeah it's it's i t- typically am wearing some pink during the during the month of october i for some reason i'm not today i don't know why maybe because it's monday for me but um yeah so uh, yeah uh, definitely definitely support definitely breast cancer checked. awareness month because it is yeah. it's it's crazy Right. I'm and then too. also in the month of October, we have Halloween. Halloween. <laughs> the night to splurge on candy, popcorn balls, and candy apples. But this year, um, they started something new. Well, I've noticed it mm-hmm. new this year. It's mm-hmm. probably always been there. But that is to look for the blue pumpkin. 
Okay, you have to explain that one. Blue pumpkin, what is the blue pumpkin? The blue pumpkin pumpkin is a symbol for autism awareness. Oh. And I don't know if it's always been out there, but this year I just stumbled across it and I thought, oh, that, that's that's kind of that's kind of cool. So if you, there is a trick-or-treater that happens to have a blue pumpkin. Blue pumpkin, that is a sign of autism. That they could potentially have autism. Don't go grab them and Right, hug don't on go them, them and... don't hug on them. Um, we, and which then, you shouldn't probably be hugging trick-or-treaters anyway. Right. But <laughs> And then watch for um, the older adults uh-huh. because you have to remember that, you know, they may look a certain age. Uh-huh. but mentally they're not that age. Okay. So, um, you know, you want to make the parents. Okay. How do I say this? Okay. So I'm coming up and I'm going to be knocking on your door to trick or treating. Mm-hmm. And you would say, Oh man, she looks 40, 50, 60 years old. She doesn't need to be trick or treating. Well, just be cautious and look for that blue pumpkin and just mm. treat them like any other trick-or-treater or how about instead of judging people why don't we mm. just have fun during this halloween time instead of saying well you're an adult you shouldn't right. be trick-or-treating just they, right. they're knocking on the door just, right. just because no parent things. ever wants to hear oh aren't you kind of too big to be trick-or-treating yeah. and yeah. i've heard that multiple times out because i was one of those teenagers that would go and the night before Halloween and try to get candy and mm-hmm. then... Well, I mean, I <laughs> me, I was mostly going to parties around... I mean, I was going to parties and stuff like that. I wasn't necessarily trick-or-treating, but... Let's, there's no need to, there's no need to right. even be judgmental in and the And really, place. there's no... There really shouldn't be a need um, to have a special pumpkin if mm-hmm. everyone is being um, respectful of everybody. But at the same time, I say that I am glad um, whoever came up with this. I think it is, um, it's a good idea to bring awareness mm-hmm. where you're not, you know. Well, and it's, and it's also, I mean, I always, we always buy candy mm-hmm. and we always have way more candy than what we need and for, for trick or treating. Mm-hmm. And it's like, we, I'm, I'm, so, I'm sorry that you, you're losing an extra Snickers bar or something. <laughs> 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 for, for Halloween, because a, a, an apparent adult is trick or treating. Just yeah, I personally, I, 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 you bring up a really great point because there could potentially be um, people that appear to be adults. Right. But maybe there, there is something there that um, that they are physically adults, but you know they, they, they have the heart of a child or something right, like that. Right. And they want so to, just, they want to just be well. respectful. Absolutely. Um, have fun. Make this a um, safe. Very safe um, holiday. Um, and when I was finding out some research on this blue pumpkin, there was pages and pages after how Halloween got started. And it was just like what we talked about a few shows back. It's like mm-hmm. that overload of mm-hmm. information. Mm-hmm. I had no idea um, even how Halloween really got started. I mean, there's so many different... Yeah, there are things a lot of to different this. things. That I mean, yeah. the one thing that I do have to laugh is um, if you are single and you're looking to get married on Halloween years and years ago, that's how they would actually find um, their soulmate. Their suitors. So yeah, their suitors are their future Through husbands. Halloween. Through Halloween, they would decorate and dress up do tricks and that's how actually how it came to america and it turned into trick-or-treating you would do tricks oh cool yeah because i always heard that it's a representative of the day of the dead Mm -hmm. um and that and somehow and that makes sense from how it got over here Mm -hmm. to be because i I don't even remember I, I, i've done research on it before too but i don't remember like when it started and it was back in if i can pronounce it right the Celtic. celtic celtic yes celtic. it started back then and it was it started celtic. out it would be celtic, celtic like celtic their type. harvest mm-hmm. and then it was like one seasoning ending and another one starting mm-hmm. and then um Kind of like their celebration fall. Yeah, a celebration that they felt that um, the lit, the dead would come back as ghosts. So they would actually put money and bowls of food out in front of their house to keep the ghost away. 
<laughs> that makes sense because everything's that makes sense because everything's dying mm -hmm. uh, because winter's coming. That, yeah. I hate to make that sound so weird. So but, these yeah. holidays, I mean, they're just like it just blows my mind on how they get started and the mm -hmm. true meaning mm -hmm. of them. Mm -hmm. But however you choose to celebrate it, just um, just be safe, have fun, um, watch for the children that are out there. Keep it um, on your kids, too. Yeah. <laughs> Any members that are going to be taking their trick-or-treaters out, uh, make sure they're able to uh, be able to look out of their mask. Make sure they're not tripping over any of their costumes they're going to be wearing. And any of those extra Snickers, you can send them to Dane and I. Yes, I'll take <laughs> Well, and also, uh, I, and, and I know that because when I was a kid, uh, if I wanted to be a specific character, maybe like a comic book or something like that, also make sure suitable dress for suitable weather or mm -hmm. inclement weather because I remember <laughs> I remember going out and freezing to death mm -hmm. because I, no 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 mom I want to wear this no this, I don't look like Batman I don't look like Batman if I have my coat on mom now so yeah. Just, yeah, so just, just yeah, have fun. <laughs> and uh, one other awareness that is going um, on, and that is domestic um, violence that is also out there for October. And remember, um, that can happen to a male just as well as a um, female. So, um, and remember, suicide is prevention is out there. Um so make sure you uh, go back and watch some of the other episodes that Lori and I did on the Chill Spot where we talked about mental health awareness. Mm -hmm. And then we also talked about suicide um, prevention. And, and I um, mean, take. I think the main thing there to, to message is that take warning seriously. I mean, yeah. the, you have a gut instinct feeling for a reason. Mm -hmm. And if something doesn't feel right to you, if you're getting these warnings from other people... Uh, pursue it. Make sure. Uh, I mean, if if you if you go up to them and you're wrong, mm -hmm. yeah, they could they could put it, they could be mad at you or whatever. But it's right. better to save a life and right. and and let them be mad at them. Than That's them true. Be mad at you, so. And the other, and I want to leave you with a positive note: is be aware that our CNA Club account is up. And it's going. open. It is open. <laughs> it is going. It is. It is. It is <laughs> going. Um, we do apologize that we have not posted the exact date that it will be for 2020. For the actual event. Right. right. But we are um, we are working on that. Yeah. I'll give a little update real quick on that. Yes. We're currently through uh, negotiations um, on on a couple venues to see to see if we can make the prices even a little bit better for you guys. Um, and, and then we're just going to go from there. But we should have a select date by the end. By now, uh, really, uh, and we'll be making those announcements here really soon. Yeah, so be aware of that, and uh, you ready to nail it? Yes, I am. Until you come back, remember you matter. Still.